Three mice in a lab, they're looking a hell of a lot younger after they've been given a drug that has improved their memory, increased their metabolism, and they're looking like the good old days. Now there are plans to test this drugs on humans. And I got a feeling there's gonna be a whole lot of people in Tinseltown who are like, gimme, gimme, gimme. I wanna look like Kylie Jenner. My name is Michael McCredden talking about a drug Hollywood is gonna love. Here for you on IO. First off, I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. If you could look one age for the rest of your life, what year would you pick? For me, I'd go with 25. Britney Spears style. I'm not a girl. Not yet a woman. Sorry, let's get back to the start. Now scientists out in California, they are literally pinching and shitting themselves simultaneously because they believe they have concocted the fountain of youth. There's a lot of money you can make with something like that. In an effort to aid those suffering from Alzheimer's, scientists at Salk Institute cooked up a drug named J147. They then fed that drug to three mice, really old ones, and let's pretend that them three mice are blind just to make this story a little more whimsical. The results, well these old geezer mice started to age backwards and began looking like spring chickens. Not like transforming from mice to chicken, that's just the term I'm using to help get the story, you know. They didn't actually transform into chickens, that's just a saying for looking more youthful. They found that the mice that had taken the drug, well all of a sudden their memory was back to the good old days. Also they were doing fantastic on other forms of cognition. They also displayed other more robust motor movements. Another notable effect was that the drug J147 prevented the leakage of blood from the micro vessels in the brains of old mice. Now damaged blood vessels, those are common for those suffering from Alzheimer's. So they can chalk this up as another win. Now the next step is to start human trials. Seeing as this institute is already located out in California, I got a feeling they're gonna have a few Hollywood ladies knocking on their door. I'm talking about you, Demi Moore and Meg Ryan, not Jennifer Aniston though. I feel like she's been doping her smart water with this stuff for years. All right, guys, that's all she wrote in this one. My name is Michael McCrudden. Thanks for checking out Inform Overload. We keep you up to date on everything that's going on in the news. So check out our other videos, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, would you take this drug? Why? Let me know down below. Boom.